And so now we invite you to join us in the gardens of life. There are many types of gardens described in scripture. Gardens are places of meeting, places of renewal, places of harvest. In Genesis, the Garden of Eden was a place of work and wonder and relationship. In the Song of Solomon, the Garden was a place of love and discovery. In the Gospels, the Garden is a place of unimaginable pain and agony. In the book of Revelation, the gardens are symbols of expectancy and hope for the future. Let us sing what we can find and who we can find in our own interior gardens. explore the intimate gardens of our interior lives. At times, these are places of meditation, reflection, and prayer. At times, these are places of turbulence, turmoil, and unrest. Wherever you find yourself in your interior garden, know that the divine is present. The songwriter encourage each, encourages each of us to imagine a personal relationship in this very intimate space. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Lord my God discloses. O Lord, my, uh, o Lord God of my understanding, you go with me, you walk with me, you talk with me. You tell me that I am your very own and the joy we share as we linger there none other has ever known. The relationship with our God is new every morning. Let us each resonate with our God in our own unique way. Jehovah garden can be a close and connecting place. In the garden, there can be solitude, fear, mystery, love, desire, and so much more. The song continues, I stay in the garden with you, though the night around me is falling. But you bid me to continue through the voices of woe and gloom. Your voice is calling us. We respond from the longing places in our spirits. Because of who 
We can dream of enacting justice, equity, and compassion. Let us move in concert with the galvanizing God of our understanding. Amen and amen.